And I went outside and I saw this light. 10 o'clock, uh, March 13th, Thursday night. Mike Christian wasn't alone. Thousands across Arizona will never forget that night back in 1997. Many say they saw a boomerang-shaped object flying silently through the night sky after 8 p.m. Mike didn't see that. Hey, Sue, take a look at this. But he did capture the second Phoenix Lights phenomenon on camera from his backyard. This is my copy, which I went. I went to his Phoenix home where he showed me the original footage. I hit Bader. Finally. Floating orbs of light appearing one by one, seemingly hovering over the city, then disappearing in a different order. And it was as far east as it's ever been. I've never seen it this far to the east. Mike says in the weeks before, he'd seen floating lights to the west, what looked like flares from the Barry Goldwater Air Force Range southwest of Phoenix. But Mike believes these lights looked brighter and closer over the city itself. Officially, the U.S. government says that night people saw military flares dropped from 15,000 feet by Maryland National Guard, who took off from Davis Monthan before conducting a training exercise over Phoenix. Mike doesn't buy it. If these were flares, Ryan, how do you drop flares over this distance and they stay in a perfect line? In fact, these are pictures Mike took of lights over the same area weeks after the infamous night. Because flares, when they drop, they're, they, they, they come down on, supposedly on parachutes and they, and they fall at different rates. Two years later, Mike says someone from the government paid him a visit and saw this footage. He says, well, looks like you really got something here. Only to come back months later with the same explanation. With a book about this thick, with computations, and he says, what you saw that night were planes 80 miles away dropping flares. That hasn't stopped film crews and UFO enthusiasts from asking questions. It's been on all the major networks. It's been around the world. I've had production companies come from Japan, as far as Japan. But even the man behind this compelling footage is still not convinced what happened that night. He says, we may never truly know. Some people believe it's a UFO, some people believe it's military. I don't know what it was. It was orange lights to me. Ryan Fish, Kega 9, on your side.